So, I just happened to watch a video that involved a friend of mine being verbally harassed. And also, the speaker in this video is pathetic. Not ever have I heard. <laughs> I can't even find the correct word to even describe it. It's just that pitiful. He is so ignorant, so just purposely dumb. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even know what he's saying. In fact, he's just coming up with whatever he can think of on the top of his head and spew it out. Nobody must have taught you when you were a child to keep your mouth shut. Seriously. You think it's okay to make just irrational assumptions about people and mock them, but then say that you're not, I don't want to get like a ban or a bully strike, but I like a good roast. Really, dude? Okay, put your picture up. So that way we can all just start swinging at you. You don't know what you're talking about. And second of all, you think that we are about taking animals and killing them? Somebody's family member? You think that we're about that? Really? Then let me ask you this. What movement caused the most deaths in the world? How many people before the Abrahamic religions came about? How many of those people were slaughtered for your faith? You don't even know how many men, women, children, elderly people were slaughtered because of a belief system. You don't even know. And, and also, you don't even know what attire my friend was wearing. So that way you know that is traditional wear that the Norsemen wear. That's what the Norsemen wear in their belief system when it was around before you guys came around and just wiped it out. That's what they wore. Because they actually honored their past on. When was the last time you went to your ancestor's spot? When? Never. You're pathetic. Don't be swinging at people when you know nothing about what they do. And don't think that you have the right to use your religious freedom, because it's not. You harass someone, it's harassment. That's it. No religious freedom can cover assault. It's either it is, or it's not. It is. That's it. You think... You really think you're representing the Christian God? You can't... You don't even know how altered your religious book is. It's an altered text. So much of it was taken out. Do you know why? Because religious men back in the day, they wanted a way to make women subservient and inferior so that way they can control them and use them as objects, pawns, for their own self-pleasure or whatnot.
Besides, the Psalms also are actual magical incantations. Christian witches, they do, they use them. But you, you know, you don't even look that up because you just choose to be ignorant and dumb. Which is very sad. And also, you think we kidnap kids? Why? What good is that going to do? No. If you're thinking that we take kids and kill them, you're sick in the head. That's really all I have to say about that. But also, Abraham and Isaac, right? What about him? He was about to kill his own son. Child, like almost near child abuse, pretty much. But he was going to kill his son in order to show his devotion to God. Really? No. True divinity would never push someone for that. Second of all, God was the first sinner. Just saying. But since you know you're too dumb to look it up yourself, I'll tell you how he is. When God made Adam, he made Lilith at the same time. Same material, but nowadays it's altered because it says that Lilith was made from tainted soil, so that way it made women look more inferior. But they were made at the exact same time. Same material, everything. Adam got a wanted to poke Lilith, and Lilith was just, no, not feeling it. Adam ran and cried to God. She's not letting me sleep with her. God was like, you better lay down and let him... Let him do whatever he wants to you. Oh, is God advocating rape? Hmm. Woman says no. God is demanding her be raped. Advo advocacy of rape. Lola says, um, I respect myself more, and I'm not going to listen to you, and I'm not going to subject myself to that. I'm out. And left the Garden of Eden. She wasn't expelled. She left. Because she was being disrespected. And if you think that, that that was a sin for defying her? Okay. If you're, you're calling defying because someone respects themselves to not let themselves be used as an object and, and be raped? That's something wrong. There is something wrong there. If you're going to justify rape like that, you're sick. No divine being should ever advocate someone to suffer or be violated like that. I don't care what faith you are. If you go up to a woman and you try and disrespect her boundary and then grope her, and if you're blaming her, you're sick. That's it. You're sick. It takes a special kind of a stupid just to go up to a woman and disrespect her, grab her, and then blame her because she taunted you or tantalized you into acting like that. That's just so pathetically stupid. Who's the one that had the urge to go up to the woman in the first place? Who's the one that you know has started to poke b below his stomach towards a woman and say, I'm going to act on this? Who made the choice? And not the woman. She was minding her business. Who's the one who touched her? Exactly. As I was saying, once Lilith left, God sent angels after her. 
she had children. The angels met her in a cave. Lilith was just attending to her children. Then the angels commanded her to come back because God wanted her back. And she just looked at them like, uh, no, I'm not going to go back there and let myself be disrespected. So what did the angels do? They commit murder and kill her children. Really? That's not very godly, don't you think? Pretty much trying to push someone to go back and be raped or have their children killed. Really? That doesn't make much sense now, does it? Making somebody choose to either be violated or have their children killed? That's sick. But hey, th that's what God wanted. So, since God advocated rape, there's your first sin. Oh, and also, so that way you know, for those of you saying that, well, what about the Garden of Eden and the apple? Well, here's the thing. Lilith never ate it. Because of that, she's not infected with sin. She doesn't carry that sin virus you talk about. And she's immortal because of it. People from Adam and Eve, they're infected with that sin virus. That's why people die. She can't die because she never ate it. But, you know... You're, you're too low on your way of thinking to even figure that out. I can go on and on and on. Because there's so much material that I can just grab and then just throw it back in your face. Especially like the moon. You do know that a good majority of those moon names come from Nat Native American tradition. So now you just slap them too. You really need to do your research before you start spewing crap out of your mouth. You need to learn to keep that hole under your nose shut. Because you're going to have so many people look at you and think, wow. I don't even know. Oh, I just... I don't even know where all my brain cells went. They all ran in terror. And you better believe I'm expecting an apology. Not to me, but to that friend of mine. That you think that you can just take a picture of him and then just start mocking him and tearing him down. That's unacceptable. You better apologize.